Hi, Zachary Asin here, and in today's lesson, I thought I'd show you how I go about uh, preparing line art uh, to be colored. So, the first thing I have here is just my scanned image of whatever, um, two faces, and I'm just focused on this face. Now, the reason I, sh I included this face, it's kind of hard to see. But um, you'll see what I do is I like to draw very rough and I use different colored uh, Prismacolor pencils. Um, in this case, I used green. And I know a lot of guys, uh, Evan Burse of Cartoon Block, he sometimes will use uh, colored pencils like this. And so you can be as rough as you want with this and then you have your cleaner uh, pencil line on top of that or you could use an inked line. Um, but I don't want this green in this case, or whatever color it is, I don't want it to show up. So how do, how do I get rid of that? Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just duplicate this layer, and I do that by dragging it to the new layer icon uh, at the bottom, like so. Or I can press Control J, and that duplicates the layer. And the, the only reason I'm doing this is just so I have a backup copy in case I do anything um, wrong. Or sometimes I just have it so if I'm doing step-by-steps or something, I have something to show the person, like, this is how it started, and then, you know, the next stage was this. So let's get rid of uh, the green. So I'm going to do that is I'm going to press Control u and that brings up the hue and saturation uh, window. Alternatively, you could go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. Uh, I just like the hotkey Control u And these shortcuts in Photoshop, once you memorize them, they really do save a lot of time. Um, so now I have this, and you'll notice at the top it says Edit Master. And this means it's going to edit all the colors, and I don't want to be doing that. I just want to get rid of the green. So I'm going to go to Greens. And I'm going to bring the lightness up to plus 100. So that's going to make it so anything that was green gets much lighter. And it ends up disappearing. Now, you kind of have to go through other colors to get rid of all of the leftovers. So I'm going to go to, I'll, I'll just start with red. Just bring that to 100. Yellow, bring it to 100. Uh, green is at 100, cyan, bring that to 100, uh, blue, and magentas. So now you can see the before and after, that the colored lines kind of fade away, uh, but they're still there. And there's also some, you know, paper texture and things that's still there. So the next step after doing that to get rid of the colored lines is I'm going to press Control L, and that brings up levels. Uh, or you could go Image, Adjustments, Levels. And now there's three sliders, a black one, a gray one, and a white one. And I'm just going to bring the white one towards the center. And you'll notice as I do that, the background lines disappear. Now if I want the lines to get darker, I can bring this gray uh, middle slider towards the white, towards the right. Um, and I can get, you know, a pretty, pretty dark line. I don't like to get that dark. I just like it to be somewhat clean, like so. You know, not too much uh, background information. And okay, so now I have my clean uh, line art. And the purpose of having the second image is just to show you how rough I start out and that, you know, it's okay to work in a color like these uh, these Prismacolor uh, pencils because uh, you can pretty much do whatever and have it just gone. So this is what I have for my line art. Now, the next step that I like to do is to have the line art just by itself. Um, okay, so let me explain that. There's a bunch of different ways to go to the next step to add color. Uh, an easy one is just make a new layer, set it to multiply, and pick your color that you want. And 
you know, just fill in your colors. So it's an easy way. Um, let's say I want to color my line art. I want the lines actually to be a different color. What I can do is go to the layer with the line art and change my brush mode from normal top here to color and I can go ahead and color in those lines. So really there's just so many different ways um, but I'm just going to show you the method that I usually use and that I prefer. So I'm going to get rid of this layer so now I just have my line art layer and now I'm going to do this formula thing and you don't actually have to understand how it works for it to work uh, but I'm going to explain it anyway at least uh, to the best of my ability because it does get a bit complicated um, so okay I'm going to go ahead and do that and the way I do it is pretty much all through shortcut keys so the first key I press is D and what that does is it changes to the default color palette, meaning there's black in the foreground and white in the background. Uh, this isn't necessary, uh, but basically whatever color I start with, that's what color my lines are going to be. And for the sake of this, I want black lines, so I'm going to hit D and get uh, black lines. Um, okay, so here comes the next part. So Control A, which is select all. Control A and then Control X. Now what that does is it cuts the image. So if I just hide this background, uh, I used to have an image and now it's all gone because I hit Control X. Now what I'm going to do is press Alt Backspace and what Alt and Backspace, you have to hit them together, hold down Alt and then press Backspace. What that does is it fills with the foreground color and in this case the foreground color is black. So Alt Backspace to fill with black and you know, if I filled with green, it would look like that, you know, whatever color. But I'm just going to fill it with black. And then here's the cool part. So now I'm going to enter quick mask mode. And there's two ways of doing this. One way is to click this little button and it's underneath your uh, black and white little color thing on your toolbar. Or you can just press Q and that takes you into quick mask mode. Now in quick mask mode, Anything that you paint, and you can paint in this mode, anything you paint in white is going to become part of a selection. And anything that's black is not going to be selected. So just keep that in mind. So anything white is selected, anything black is not. And when you paint with black, it comes out as red. So the part that is red is painted with black and it is not going to become a selection. The part that's white will be and if you went to grays that's going to give you a selection with you know lower transparencies. So I entered quick mask mode in Q and I'm going to press control V which is paste. So now I've pasted my image and you'll notice the lines now have become red. What that means is that because they were black originally they were dark you know not completely black but they're pretty much black uh, that means that those lines are not going to be selected. They're not going to be part of a selection, but everything else is going to get selected. So everything that's not the line is going to get selected. So now I'm going to press Q to get out of quick mask mode. And now that's created that selection. Uh, everything that's not the line has become a selection. And I'm going to hit delete. So now I just got rid of all the paper that was, that was back there. And now I just have my lines on their own layer. And I'm going to press Control D. And now that deselects the whole thing. So, so now I don't have anything selected and I just have my nice lines. I can press a new layer. So underneath this layer and just fill it with white or really any color now. And that's going to be my background uh, layer color. And if I don't like the color, it's easy to, you know, either I can pick a color, but what's often even easier is to press Control U, and that brings up this hue and saturation slider. 
And then just adjust the hue to something you like. And you have three sli uh, sliders here, hue to change the color, saturation to change how intense that color is, less saturation brings it closer to gray, more brings it closer to a pure color, and lightness is of course, you know, how light or dark that is. So let's say I like color like that. So now that's my background. And now I have this line art on its own layer. And I can click this, this button beside lock and it says lock transparent pixels. Um, in older versions of Photoshop, I think it was called preserve transparency, but just go ahead and click that. And now whatever I paint is just going to affect these lines. So if I want my, let's say for the skin, I want it to be kind of a brown just select brown and now I can just paint in and I'm just going to make sure my brush is on normal mode. I can actually just go ahead and paint in all the skin areas this color and it's going to change the color of the line to that. And let's say I want the hair to be Let's go something weird. Let's let's go for blue. I'm just gonna select blue, and I'm just coloring. So you see, I'm coloring the lines of the hair. Now, if I want to color the actual painting, like or the image, not just the the lines then I just have to go to a new layer uh, in between the background and the line art and I can just start painting in that so let's go for some kind of blue for the hair I can just start filling that in um, now the way I like to do it is actually just to do things with the brush but um, let's say you're not quite comfortable with that or you don't have a tablet let's say you're using a mouse well you can also use the magic wand and then I just go to the layer I want and select with the magic wand now it's selected everything because I have some gaps here so I have quite a lot of gaps um, but let's say I have a closed area like this eye then it's just gonna select that portion but you can see the way I, I draw, I tend to include large areas that are not closed. And a way around that is to just select your brush, get it really thin, and you could manually close in those areas. But let's say I just wanted to color the eye, and I want to color it white. So I make the selection on the line layer, go to a lower layer, and then just, I, I could just fill it, but it's not gonna fill right to the edge, you're gonna get if I zoom way in, see you get a little bit of uh, of a border. This one's pretty good actually, but uh, sometimes you do get a bit of a border. And the way around that is before I fill it, just go select, modify, expand, and maybe expand it by three pixels. So now what you see is that it's going to fill, but it kind of goes underneath the line. Control D to deselect and just zoom out. So I can go ahead and just, you know, block in. And for me, again, I like to just manually block in color. And pretty much that's it. Um, in terms of preparing the line art uh, for the color stage. Now, of course, there's more to uh, coloring and, you know, adding shadows and all that. I'm not going to go into that in too much detail here at all, or in any detail. <laughs> but uh, just want to let you know about the uh, line art stage and just go over it once again. 
So back to, to back to our original. Let's say we're just starting, and once you do this a lot, it gets pretty easy. So just go to the different colors, raise the lightness. Change the levels, control L, bring the white up. And then let's use a different color other than black. So I'm not gonna hit, you know, D brings up black. Let's say we want the lines to be red. So control A, select all, control X, all backspace, Q, control V, Q, delete. Control D and you know as simple as that you have your line art all colored and you got rid of the paper in the background and it's uh, ready to go so I hope that helps and uh, thanks for watching